closed the first stanza of the season with a win against Prison Leopard. His first game, he came back with a huge victory against the defending champions in Red Arrows. His third game, in as far as the in a row, obviously being able to pick up a victory in a derby. One go to nil, it does still count. And obviously we're talking about no other than Perry Mitapa. Coach, congratulations. What a game. Very tactical game it was. Thanks, and a very highly tactical game. We knew Nkwazi, especially in the second half, they were going to come at us. But uh, I think, like you have said, it was a tactical game. I think in instances where we needed to attack, we did so. But I think we missed some um, clear chances, like the one for Augustine and Daniel Odoko. But we knew that in the second half, they were going to bring in, even at going at halftime, we knew that they were going to bring in Nicholas Zuru. So at halftime, we told the boys that now, if they play a little bit at the back, they are going to pump the ball to Nicholas and Ward and wait for the likes of Mutama and Shonga to hit the ball or fight for the, for, for the free kicks and hit the ball at goal because I think Mutama and Shonga, I think they are the two of the best free kick, uh, free kick set piece takers in the country. Yeah. So we knew they are going to, 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 to play that way when they brought in Nicholas. But we had to also go with a double pivot in the midfield and we diffused them. Yeah, and obviously you made no changes to the team that played last week, that won in, in the other earlier Lusaka derby that you had against Red Arrows. But today, what was your plan really in terms of controlling the midfield? Of course, we have got players like Simon, Simon Inkata. I think in the first half he played very well, but obviously uh, the, the pitch was a bit slippery. It's Edwin Imbuera Stadium, it's not Hero's Stadium. So in the second half, we knew that we are, uh, we are leading a goal. So we said, why not close and then play them on a counter? Yeah. And we did so very well. Yeah. I've watched Napsa and it looks like you have developed a new philosophy where you only attack when it's necessary to attack. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think you have to be tactical. You, you said it all. We are very tactical. And this is Edwin Imbuera Stadium. I think if you ask most of the teams, this is the, the pitch where they wouldn't like to come to. So we knew, you see how they pumped the ball in the second half uh, in our area. So if you make a mistake, they will punish you. So we did that very well in introducing uh, the likes of Adoko yeah. to stabilize the midfield because obviously Simon is a, a, a ball player. So in this type of, of the game, I think we needed people who are going to, to yeah. fight for every second ball, yeah. which uh, I think uh, Adoko, Kigan and Chapa did very well. That's why I think Chapa is the man of the match. Yeah. Coach, let's talk about this though. How many times did you watch in Kwasi? Uh, videos, you're, I mean, you're playing against your brother today. Did you have to watch some videos, see how he's, he's played recently, how he's oh. developed, just to prepare for him? Of course, I do that for every team. I think I watch this must have four to five, one. six, seven times, depending on, on what I have seen. If I have watched them, maybe say we are playing a team which I have watched the. Uh, uh, live, I think I maybe I watch them maybe four or five times. But if I haven't watched them, I can watch maybe even six to seven games. Yeah, this this is a sweet victory, coach. Thank you so much. I don't know.